Hey everyone, my name's Braden. We're going to go over how to find the minimum and maximum values in a pandas data frame for both columns and rows. We'll also look at how to find the index location of those values. To get started, I imported pandas as pd and numpy as np. Then I created a data frame with five columns and 12 random numbers between one and 100. The row names I labeled as the months of the year. So this is what our data frame looks like. One thing that we'll want to do is make sure that our rows or columns that we're looking at are all numeric values. If we have string values mixed in, that can cause problems. Specifically, if we're trying to find the max value within a column, then it will just skip a column that has a string value in it. I have another video where I explain how to convert columns to numeric values. I'll add a link in the description below. Let's first look at how to get the min and max for each of our columns. So let's create a series called call max and set that equal to df.max axis is equal to zero. So this means we're going to look at the max value within each of these columns. And then we'll look at that call max. So we see that a series is returned and it contains the maximum values within each of these columns. So for the first column, we have a maximum value of 89. For the second column, a maximum value of 84 and so on. If we wanted to find the minimum value, it's very similar. Instead of df max, it's df min. So we'll actually just copy this here. We'll call this min. And we see the minimum value is returned just like the maximum values for each of these columns. If we were wanting to just get the min or maximum value for a specific column, what we can do is specify what column we're looking for. So let's say column one. So we can just add that here and then it returns the minimum value for column one. Now let's say we wanted to look at the minimum and maximum values for rows. So for January, what's the min and max value? Here we do the same thing. I'm gonna copy this again. And instead of axis equals zero, yep, you called it. We are going to say axis equals one. Now we'll just call these row max this time. And this returns a series for the maximum values in each of our rows. To find the minimum, it's exactly the same. We would just say minimum. And we get the minimum values for each row returned. If we're looking for the maximum or minimum value of a specific row, we can actually do that here by indexing the data frame. So we can say dot lock. We're gonna use the names rather than the index location. We're gonna say April for the row. And we want all of those columns included. So what this is saying is we want to look at the row April and include each of these columns here and say which one is the minimum value. So we should get 34 returned. So we got a value error, no axis named one. So what we want to do is delete this axis equals one here when we're calling a specific row and columns. And we got 34 returned just like we expected. If we were looking for the index locations of our maximum values in a data frame, we could create that series using df.idx max. So index without the vowels max. And that will return our index positions of each of the maximum values. So for column one, the maximum value is located in August 89, and that is the maximum. And then we can use this ID max anywhere where we used min or maximum in each of the above examples. We can also use these methods with columns that contain all strings. I'm in the process of creating a video on that. I'll link that in the description below. If you have any additional questions, leave those below and I'll do my best to get back to them. Also, if you found this helpful, please consider liking the video and thanks for watching.